Yeah, I mean, I think uh, every game we, we learn something for ourselves. Uh, I think the Memphis game we did a good job. But, um, and then that Atlanta game, we kind of got up to a slow start. They ended up hitting some, some really easy shots. They got them confidence. And then the Boston game, I think we, we cut it close in the second half. I mean, in the first half in the second quarter. And then the third quarter, we did really well. And then the fourth quarter, we kind of just got sluggish. Um, didn't take really good shots. Um, wasn't really looking for our teammates. Yeah, when you guys get in those like stagnant moments, I know Boston has a good defense too, but like when you guys don't play the style you're kind of accustomed to playing, like, what, what do you see that that was happening in that game? Um, I think they're they're switching kind of disrupt us disrupt us a little bit, kind of went in ISO mode a little bit. I mean that's what really good defensive teams do. They put you in ISO modes, take make you take tough shots, and that's what they did. I mean credit them, they did a really good job of doing that. But I think we learned from this game. I think we're gonna do a better job of finding our teammates, getting open shots, and taking the easy looks. In the third quarter, you guys are not used to getting ran like that. I think it was like a 34-4 type of run. What did you learn from that? Yeah, um, I mean, you see another thing. We took some took some really tough shots. Um, we took some a lot of step back twos and threes, and a lot of things we looked at in the film. And they were just getting easy shots. They're getting to the rim. Um, they also hit some tough shots. Jason Tatum, credit to him, was hitting some tough shots. So we just learned we got to slow the game out, or at least got to draw a foul, or get to the line, or do something where we can try to stop the run. You look at the play of the bench. The bench has been pretty successful this season. So how confident do you feel in your guys' ability to make a difference in games? Um, we feel good about it. I mean, because when we play two games, we know every game our, our starting line will really come out with fire. So our job is to come in and bring energy. Um, I mean, or even pick it up when they do have a really good first half. We, we pick it up and try to build on that. But um, I think I feel real confident about, about our bench. You know, you, you, you're one person who know how to work through, you know, get through struggles and things like that. What are you guys, you know, telling Keegan or at least trying to relay to him that, hey, you know, you got to keep shooting that ball. It's going to get better. Yeah, I mean, we just try not to let everyone talk to him because I know we got other people at home talking to him and, and it's his, co his shooting coaches that's talking to him. So we try not to be in the ear too much. So he kind of just be listening to everyone. So we kind of want him to just learn from it. I mean, that's what I did. I learned from it and then I ended up playing really well at the end of the season. So he's going to learn from it. He's going to start making shots. He's going to get his legs under him. He's going to be fine. I feel like you I mean, I think we take it like every other game. Yeah, I think every game we come in, we have to win the game. Um, we just know the things that we did in the Celtics game. That's probably not going to happen this game because we're going to we learn from it, like I said, because you know, they do a lot of switching too. So I mean, I think we just come in with a mindset we, we win every game. What makes it so difficult when teams can switch effectively? Like, how does it take you out of an offense? I think um, part of our offense is kind of. Playing through the big, where he make plays, or he kind of get openings where someone's chasing, and you can play in the pick and roll and things like that. So when they switch, it kind of makes it hard because now they're switching, they're switching right in front of you, and you can't really make plays because everyone's on top of you. So I mean, but also we got to take advantage of the slip because when they switch, and we know that we can slip and get those easy buckets like that. So we just got to take advantage of those. Things. I'm, I'm curious, like, what, what kind of growth you've seen from this group defense? I know it's not where you guys want to be yeah. yet, but it seems like you guys are having some better moments during games. What what are you seeing that's that's been better at times? See, um, I think sometimes during the game, during stretches, we have really good defensive moments. I mean, I think even like for like six minutes, we end up having a really good six minutes. But I think if we do that the whole 48 minutes of the game, we'll be a really good team, which is hard to do. I mean, people got to learn from each other. Uh, people got to talk. I mean, little things like that. But I think we'll be fine. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.